Hey, Scorpio, Dana, deep thoughts with Dana. I am back. I have been on a brief sabbatical, um, learning, growing, exploring, and rejuvenating, right? And I am back with a vengeance. A vengeance, Scorpio. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. It may resonate with you. It may not. If it resonates with you, run with it. If it doesn't, leave it on the table and walk away. It's not for everybody. However, I do encourage you to not ever, 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 ever make life-altering decisions based on a general reading, mine or anybody else's, right? If you need more clarification about the events that unfold in this reading, please get a tarot card reading from your favorite tarot card reader. My link is in the box below. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I would love to explore your situation just for you, just like this. Um, if, it's, if this reading doesn't resonate with you and you want just your own personal reading, by all means, deepthoughtswithdana.com. One-on-one -on -one personal readings, okay? All right, Scorpio, uh, a disclaimer, this is a R-rated channel. I may or may not drop the F-bomb or sexual innuendos at any moment. So if this offends you, swift flick to the left will get you to a much calmer, more sophisticated tarot card channel. Okay? All right. So Scorpio. Oh, let me just give you a, a, a brief intro here because um, I'm using two decks, right? I am using the old, tried and true, worn out Tarot Illuminati, and I am using my brand new, fresh and slippery Tarot Illuminati, okay? I am doing root cards with the old Tarot Illuminati, and I am doing clarifying cards with the brand new Tarot Illuminati, okay? So you're going to see, you might see, I don't know, but you might see repeating cards from the same deck, right? But they're two separate cards. I'm not mixing them together. I'm doing foundational cards with the old deck and clarifying cards with the new deck, okay? So don't be confused if you see some of the same cards coming out. Okay, so... Here we go, Scorps. So you are sitting down with your high priestess. You open this reading with the high priestess. Sitting down with the high priestess. The card of Pisces I want to point out for some reason. Don't know why. But you're sitting down with the high priestess and you are searching your subconscious mind and your intuition. Because with the princess of wands right on top of that, you are um, exploring some different options in your life, right? Exploring some different options. The tower card comes in and tells us that you are about to create your own tower moment, okay? You are about to create a tower moment in your life that is going to directly affect the lives of those involved with you. How do I know this is your own tower moment that you are creating? Well, because the King of Swords comes in, followed by the King of the Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? This King of Swords is somebody that is making a very clear thinking, intellectual, head over heart decision using logic and reasoning. The Queen of Swords tells me that you are um, emotionless when it comes to this decision. So you are making some kind of massive decision with no emotion. You are using logic and reasoning, okay? Logic and reasoning. You are making a decision that is going to create a tower moment in your life. Now, this tower moment is about a revelation and an awakening that you had in the high priestess moment, right? You had an, an awakening in the high priestess moment about what kind of inspired action that you are going to take in your future. This results in you executing a decision with no emotion, okay? To the Princess of Swords in reverse, because... You, Princess of Swords in Reverse is about all talk, no action, and undelivered promises, okay? This tells me that whatever situation you are in, um, you feel like you, not, it's not that you can't deliver it, but you don't want to deliver what this person is expecting you to deliver, 
Okay. You don't want to deliver whatever this is. And I'm going to tell you up front that there's a queen of pentacles in the center of your reading that's in reverse. So this tells me that you are in a relationship. Okay. This is a relationship reading in this relationship that you're currently in. You do not have a desire to deliver what this person wants you to deliver. Okay. And we know this because we have strength in reverse, which is talking about inner strength, right? You simply don't want to, to the sun in reverse. And you're not very optimistic about how this is all going to shake down. Hangman says, you've been thinking about this for a minute in the high priestess energy, right? Pausing, processing, surrendering and coming out on the other side of this energy with a decision. Okay. A decision. The decision is the nine of cups that you are dissatisfied. You are dissatisfied in your current relationship. And the five of wands comes on top, on top of it and tells us that there's disagreements, strife, tension, conflict, and, um, a hint of competition for some reason here, Scorpio. So this tower moment is that you are leaving someone out in the cold with the five of pentacles. Perhaps they're leaving you out in the cold, but I kind of get the feeling you are leaving somebody out in the cold to the six of pentacles in reverse. This is all about um, selfishness and one-sided charity. Okay. One-sided one-sided and selfishness. And it's not that you're selfish, okay? It's not selfishness in the derogatory term. It is this, this princess of swords in reverse. You are not willing to deliver what this person wants. You're just not willing to do it. You don't want it and you're not willing to do it. And that's where the, the quote unquote selfishness comes in, right? You are making decisions, emotionless, decisive decisions about your own life, about what is best for you. Okay. To the queen of pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading, this entire reading revolves around this. Now the queen of pentacles tells me that there is somebody embedded in your life already. Somebody embedded in your life could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. But it's, it doesn't have to be, but this person, this queen of pentacles character is already embedded in your life. And how do I know that? Because the queen of pentacles is about home, hearth, and everything that hits the bread basket of daily life. Okay. So this queen of pentacles is already in your life, in your daily life, right? But the queen of pentacles in reverse is about an imbalance. As much as she's about balance in the upright, in the reverse, she's about imbalance. So you have an imbalance in your life that surrounds this queen of pentacles character. Okay. The imbalance is, is that she, he, I'm saying she, cause it's a queen. Okay. She wants more than you're willing to give. Okay. She wants more than you're willing to give and you're going to leave her out in the cold because of it. Okay. You're going to leave her out in the cold because of it, because you want what you want and you're doing what's best for you in your life. And you have an overcommitment and an imbalance in this queen of pentacles character. Okay. Period. New paragraph. Ace of pentacles. You are wanting to manifest a new opportunity. Oh, I was going to get a clarifying card, but there's, there's, okay. <laughs> my bad, Scort. My bad, my bad. Okay. So period, new paragraph. What's on your mind is the queen of wands. The queen of wands is always the other woman in my tarot card readings, unless she's representing you. Okay. Um, what you want is to, to manifest a brand new beginning with this queen of wands character. Okay. This queen of wands character is someone that you want to reunite or reconcile with from your past with the queen of cups to the, the six of cups, the six of cups to the king of cups, very much in your feels about this queen of wands person. Okay. King of cups talks to us about emotional balance and control. This is a very controlled decision. 
to reunite and reconcile with this Queen of Wands character from your past. However, the Eight of Wands comes in and tells us that you are holding off on doing this right this minute. You are going to communicate and you are going to take action towards reuniting and reconciling with this Queen of Wands. But right now, you're just sitting on it, okay? Temperance comes in and says the same thing. You're sitting on it, right? You're just sitting on all of this for a minute because you still have this Queen of Pentacles situation that you need to clear up in your life. To the Nine of Wands, hesitancy, okay? So you're sitting on it, you're not taking it, you're holding off, you are having temperance, right? You're sitting on your desire to move towards this queen of wands, hesitancy with the nine of wands to pull the trigger on a judgment call to move forward with the six of cups reuniting and reconciling because you still have this queen of pentacles embedded in your life. The Three of Pentacles talks to me about a third-party situation, followed by the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Wands is now the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Wands right here is now transitioning in your mind as the Queen of Swords. And you know that this Queen of Wands, this Queen of Swords, is not going to tolerate any kind of a third-party situation in any way whatsoever. And seeing as how you're trying to reconcile your differences from the past, I can't help but to think that perhaps a third party situation is what ended a relationship or an entanglement with this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords in the first place. And you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you cannot approach this Queen of Wands who has the energy of the Queen of Swords, no bullshit. You come to me, you come to me right and proper or don't come to me at all type of attitude. You know that this person is not going to tolerate a third party situation. Third party being indicated by the Three of Pentacles and third party being indicated by the true third party card of the Three of Cups in reverse. So what you have to do is that you have to, you have to stop the creation of anything with this Queen of Pentacles to be able to approach the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, in a manner that is going to get you what you want. And the devil card comes on top of it and tells me irrevocably without a doubt that perhaps there was some third party bullshit that ruined this relationship in the first place. Okay. All right. So the two of cups comes in and says that um, there needs to be a breakup. There needs to be a break up with this queen of pentacles energy before you can take inspired action with the ace of wands to send a message about reuniting and reconciling with the queen of wands who takes on the energy of the queen of swords to get justice, to get what you want, right? To get what you want in this situation. What you want is is the energy of the King of Pentacles. What you want is control and power in the situation. And you know if you come to this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, in any other energy besides right and proper and true and honest, that she will simply cut you off at the knees and do an about face and walk away from you. So you're making sure that you come to this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands person in the right energy, which is the King of Pentacles. This will ensure the Two of Cups, a unified love relationship to the Lover's Card, and it will, it will revive, reunite, reconcile into a love relationship with this Queen of Wands. So there you go, Scorpio. Boy, you have a, a busy next couple of weeks, right? This reading is from now until you know, when it doesn't resonate anymore. Each one of these cards is an emotional, physical, or mental process. And it just depends on how long it takes you to go through these cards and how long it takes the people that you're dealing with to process their end of things, right? In order to have a fulfillment and a completion at the end of this reading. So it's from when it resonates to when it doesn't. 
and you can find yourself anywhere in this reading. Perhaps this hasn't even started for you yet. Perhaps you are in the thick of it, or perhaps this has already happened for you. But either way, Scorpio, this is what is in the cards for you for the next two weeks, give or take, depending on your journey, okay? If you'd like a personal reading with me, hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.